how are you? I'm good, a bit how, tired. How was the show? The show was good. We had a little bit of technical problems in the beginning. There was something wrong with the tuner for the bass. Okay, so, that's so we didn't really get it in tune, but you know, after a song or two, it sort of sorted it out. Okay. Self, so yeah. It was cool. Well, you know, it was a little bit short. We've been uh, on a European tour recently, just a couple of weeks ago, and we play like one and a half hour, one minute, one hour, 40 minutes every day, so 50 minutes is like quickly. So, well, well and even in the short period, it seemed like you really got the crowd into it. Oh, yeah, it was cool, you know, it's, well, it's Holland. You know, it's <laughs> so that's crowds in Holland are they're brilliant usually, so. Okay. Um, well, what I wonder, uh, wonder is, um, your nickname is, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Fred? Fred, yeah. yeah um, where do all the nicknames in the band come from? Well, it's, it's different stories. Some of them, you know, they're really like, uh, you know, like connected to nature in Finland. And, yeah. Mine is more like a word game. Can you explain it, or is it difficult? No, no, it's, it's, it's actually it's a kind of stupid story, <laughs> but I had to come up with something. Because we were going to, on my first festival with Fintral and I had to, the day before, to come up with something to, to do it. Me and Kotla, the first singer, we were sitting around having a couple of beers and spawning about names, and we came up with this, like, that's like in uh, word wrath, and the Swedish word is bread, so it's kind of a combination of it. Okay, um, so, so it's not like uh, give them to each other? The, the no, 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 no. Um, well, uh, you're from Finland. The, the lyrics are mostly in Swedish. Yes. But you're also from the um, like the um, Katla, Katla who yeah. wrote most of the songs. Uh, yeah, we're Swedish, Swedish minority. minority. Yeah. So was it easy, easy when you came into the band to adjust to the? Well, let's say like that. I couldn't speak a word of Finnish when I joined the band. Oh really? So, yeah, it was really horrible at Finnish. So you know, it took me a while before I could, you know, communicate fluently with them. I, I was persistent with the Finnish, and nowadays I speak sort of okay Finnish. Because a lot of the song, but your um, Swedish made it a lot easier, obviously, to sing sing the songs. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that was what they were looking for. They were looking for a final Swedish guy. To... Well, before before you joined the band, had you? Uh, well, do you remember the first time you heard uh, a song by the band? Yeah, actually, I actually I didn't know about the band very much, but uh, I think it was. When did the first album? In '99, I think the first album came out, and I was, you know, into this tape trading kind of thing. Yeah, I was trading tapes with a with a guy from Israel actually, and, and uh, we were trading albums, and he was like, oh, I don't know what to send you, and I didn't know what I wanted from him, and he said like, I'll send you Finfrol. You haven't heard Finfrol? And I'm like, no, I haven't. So now you're from Finland. You haven't heard Finfrol? And he sent me the album, so I actually got you know a pirate version of the album from Israel. That's okay. my first connection with the band. And after that I didn't actually know anything about the band. What, what, what did you think the first time you listened to it? No, I actually thought it was pretty cool. I was like, what? This is, this is really different from you know anything that was existing at that time. I was really into, you know, like Norwegian black metal and, you know, the old school death metal scene. And, and there was something new and I was like, this is weird, but this, this is, Pretty nice. It's pretty, you know, groovy in some way. Well, 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 was it easy then to adjust to that? Because you say you're from a more death metal type of, uh, background. Was it easy to to, to adjust to the more melodic? Yeah, uh, no. It was actually, if you know, when I came to check out the band, when they wanted me to come and try out with them, if I wouldn't have found it, you know, interesting, I wouldn't have joined the band because I, I like the the fact how Fintral experiments, you know, that you have no boundaries. If it would be, you know, like strictly some kind of, uh, you know, like folk metal or something like that, then it would I wouldn't be interested in the band. Well, you mentioned boundaries. Can you give me an example of where where you look for boundaries? Please? Well, you know, for example, new album we have lots of weird. We have like uh, Middle East kind of vibes in there. We got more like. Straight for like rock and roll riffs, we got all kinds of mixtures, and you know it's not you're not focusing on only being like black metal or folk or anything. So folk is really like on the new album maybe like ten percent or something. 
So it's important for you as a, ba a, a band to continually change and yeah, of course, yeah, look yeah. for we, different we are things. Always looking, you know, how to develop and how to to keep it fresh. Okay. Uh, well, I want to talk about the lyrics a little bit because I, I know yeah. uh, Katla still writes um, yeah. for the band, but do the rest. Um, well, can you describe the writing process? Because he does something, but do you write together or? Well, it's uh, it's got this like. Trinity kind of thing because it's Katla, he, he sort of writes, he comes up with the themes, he develops the lyrics. And he, we are like working together, we really like a, about the concept and how to, what to write about. He writes it, then he sends it over to, uh, to Trollhorn that actually puts them into to the songs. And then I come up and I do my versions of it. And it's sort of with three we're working together. So everybody edits a little bit yeah. in the past. So. Yeah. And then well, the theme is uh, very mythical. And, and, and yeah. the, was that something you um, connected with uh, from the start as well? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. And you know, it's it's not really connected to any you know specific kind of mythology. Mm. It's uh, more like a combination of from all the world different stories, different legends that's been translated into Fintron, mm. if you say it like that.